One day when Mr. Haney was going to water his flower, his flower was gone. He checked under his bed, it was not there. He checked in the kitchen, it was not there. He checked in the living room, it was not there. Mr. Haney never found his flower. As Mr. Haney stared at the vase crying, he heard a sound coming from the window. Mr. Haney saw kids playing with Lily, the neighbor's daughter. He noticed Lily was wearing his flower on her ear. Mr. Haney felt mad at first, but then he thought that it looked nice to put the flower in Lily's ear. So Mr. Haney let Lily have the flower. Later that day, Lily gave the flower back. Thank you, Mr. Haney, Lily said. Thank you for letting me use your flower. Mr. Haney loves his flower. He waters and talks to it. The end. In room 204, there was a really bad, bad kid. When the teacher was not looking, Alex sent letters to his friends and spit spitballs. Sometimes the class clown ditches school just to get a chocolate bar, watch a movie, and play video games. Every day Alex did something wrong. In the bathroom he flooded the sink. People slipped. Alex even hurt someone's feelings by saying, you're dumb. He got sent to the principal's office and talked to the principal. The principal said, you hurt someone. So, Alex said, his teacher gave him extra homework and you guess what he did? He didn't do it. The other kids were so good at math, they got a math award. Some people were so good, they got goldfishes. Alex never got any of those things except the red chair. <laughs> Two weeks ago, Alex did a really bad thing. He made the principal's chair loose so when the principal sits down, she will fall. Honest, this never happened. <laughs> Instead of the principal, Alex accidentally sat in her chair and the principal heard a thump and he fell. Alex was hurt. He went to the hospital. The doctor said, Alex broke an arm and a leg. The next day, Alex was in a wheelchair. He didn't bully for two whole years. <laughs> next year, Alex started to bully again. He bullied uh, a kid in Maine Elementary School. Life was bad at that elementary school. Every day, at least one person got bullied in that school. Every year until college, Alex was a bully. He pushed, he hit, he threw, he destroyed other people's things. Alex was the most vicious, cruel, violent, and savage kid in the whole college. <laughs> Everyone hated and hated and hated him through the grades and the grades. Alex never got his driver's license and he was until he was 43. <laughs> he kept asking and asking and asking until he had no more breath. He finally got it in the year 2004. He was so happy, he drove to McDonald's. <laughs> At McDonald's, he started bullying the cashier. Alex ripped the paper and broke the straws. When he got home, he broke everything in the house. He also broke the chairs. Alex had to pay for everything. Alex couldn't do a thing about the school in Boston. He only got 12 white slips in his life. He hated his life for one year in that school in Boston. After driving to school for 180 days, Alex got out of school. He thought of what he could do without school. He could move to Australia, play video games, and watch movies. Alex said, I could get used to this life. He did every one of those things in 100,000 days. It started to snow one day, and he started to slide and ski and snowboard. Then it was summer. He went to the beach every day in the summertime. He also surfed. Alex moved again, and this time he moved to Australia. He didn't do any of the things that he did when he was younger. He didn't do them because he was 64. He <laughs> likes his life now. The end. <laughs> a story called The Birds. The bird is hatching in a nest. He is calling his mom. 
His mom comes. His mom brings food. He eats the food. Then he goes to sleep. Clumsy fox. But he could fly. And he was very strong. He had a wolf friend and a devious cat friend. One day, while walking along a cliff in the forest, Cat got stuck down in the rocks. She yelled and yelled, but Clumsy Fox couldn't hear her. So she yelled louder and louder until she got tired. Then she took a big breath and yelled so loud the other side of the world could hear her. Finally, Fox heard. He flew all the way down to help Cat, but he got hit by rocks. Cat said, and he says he's an expert at flying. Cat trapped Clumsy Fox with a box made of toothpicks and flowers. He tried to break the box, but it didn't work. Fox tried to fly up and slam up, but instead he ended up with a headache. He tried everything. He even tried to do karate on it. Then he finally walked out. It worked. Fox flew up and on his way he met Mr. Mr. Bump into Rocks. <laughs> he went home with a colorful eye because he got hit so many times. He laid down and he slept for a long time.